Okay, let's do this. Sure, let's go. Nga! Quit screwing around and start! I buy some sense, so you put it to the line. Two, not even the same food, now put it to the line. Two, the matcha, get your down, so don't you turn it into your ass. just came out. Huh. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna pick a manga and read that for a while. Okay. Uh-oh, this game's got an age restriction. Either she doesn't know or she does, but she's letting it slide. Okay, come on, officer, which one is it? Get this, we're having traffic safety week, right? So we're ticketing people like there's no tomorrow. Huh. They're making us run a check on every little thing and we gotta explain all the traffic laws. It's a big time pain in the butt if you ask me. And the people even get mad at me for doing it. Knowing you and how you act, how's anyone supposed to take you seriously about laws and safety? Can you believe it? I sure can't. I hear the cold that's been going around now is lasting a long time. I need to get better, fast. According to the number I've taken, it looks as though I'll be here for a while. I'll just read a book until I'm called. Mr. Ando, Mr. Shigeo Ando. <clears throat> <clears throat> Miss Takara, Miss Miyuki Takara. Miss Takara, is there a Miss Takara here? Okay, is Miss Mariko Nishiyama here? to my surroundings. Coming up is Kamata, our last stop. Huh? Oh no! It happened again! Where am I? But in the end, I still had to show Tsukasa how to send text messages with her phone. Even after messaging with it so much, she told me she never figured it out. Really? Oh yeah! And now that she knows how it's done, she's been texting me non-stop with anything and everything she can think of. It's gotta suck to be on the receiving end of all of those texts, though. Nah, not really. I mean, I'm not gonna lose any sleep worrying about it, you know? Here's the thing, at first she gets really excited about stuff, but then she'll get bored and move on. Yeah, I know what you mean. Some people can be so childish sometimes. Uh, I got another. If she doesn't get bored soon, you're gonna be hating life. Wait, she can't have that much stuff to text you about. I know, and we're together all the time anyway. Oh, and she just discovered emoticons. You see? Mm. You wanna buy the soy milk cream buns again on our way home today? Hmm? What's all that supposed to mean? 
I don't know if you can tell, but she's really having fun with emoticons. Might as well be hieroglyphics. Huh. Looks like she got used to doing it. Having fun with it and stuff, but you think you could text someone else for a change? Hey, you guys got a minute? Sure. Well, I can't seem to figure out how to send these text message things from my phone. For real? Oh, Dad, that's super easy. Can't believe you don't know. Okay, I'll totally teach you how. Isn't it funny how people learn something new, then run out and brag about how much of an expert they are? Uh, yeah. There just aren't words to describe that hard stench. I know, it stinks so bad. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow, you sure got a lot of people in your address book, don't you? Hey, don't look without <laughs> asking. You got stuff you don't want anyone to see or something? Not really. You just don't do that. It's a guy, uh -huh. right? It's totally a guy. <laughs> no, it isn't a guy. Hmm, she's not picking up her cell phone. Guess I'll try calling the house. Hello, Kagami. Hey, Konata. You know, it'd be awesome if you could answer your cell once in a while. Yeah, sorry about that. The ringer's turned off, so I didn't know you were calling me. It's pointless to have a cell if you never know anyone's calling. Where the heck is that thing, anyway? See what I'm saying? There's no point in you even having one. Yeah, so anyway, I wanted to ask you about this coming weekend. Wait, hang on, Dad's calling me. Come on, what's the deal? Hurry up! I'll be there in a minute. I've been Jeez. on the phone forever! Come oh, on! Oh, what? Sorry. Dad just chewed me up for being on the phone too long. Oh, sorry. I sort of always pictured your place to be kind of chill when it came to stuff like that. I guess it's pretty strict, huh? Nah, we're just in the middle of playing a cool fighting game is all. <laughs> Why didn't you say anything about that before? Whether they're old or new, point cards have magical powers in here. And then before I know what's happening, I'm buying all this stuff I never planned on. But you never plan on anything anyway. I get where you're coming from, though. She's here. In this city, you've got anime and gamers. She comes into our store, buys something, then goes to the other shop to buy the same thing again. She's the one known as Legendary Girl A. <laughs> Legendary Girl A Shift, assemble! Yeah! Welcome to the store! We got the Haruhi Volume 5 DVD in So you want more stuff? We got stuff coming in all the time! Yes, that's right. Show her everything we got. The whole store. She's gonna clean the place out. I can feel it! Whoops. I was looking for the limited edition bookmark from Aquarian Age. I gotta go to gamers. Ah! This sucks! Lucky, Lucky star. star! Awesome! We'll have a sleepover this weekend and play games all night. Cool! Whenever we do this kind of stuff, it's always got to be at our house. How come we never go to yours? Huh? I'd just like to see where you live. Hmm. It's not that you can't come over to my house. The reason I don't invite you is because my dad's always home on account of his job. Oh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Besides, I don't want to be held responsible if anything happens, you know? No, I don't. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what Konata's house is like. Hey! Hi, guys. Come on in. Thanks for letting us stay the night. We won't be any trouble. Oh, it's my pleasure. I've heard so much about you guys. Like that you live in a shrine and that you're a couple of shrine maidens. Uh, uh, what's she been telling you? Wear those Ew, and this is the first right? thing he asks? <laughs> Here it is. Wow, look at Konachan's room. I gotta hand it to you. Your room's amazing. Oh, she's so cute. <sighs> 
where does this go? Don't tell me. You don't want me to open this because it's where you keep all the crazy junk you're too embarrassed to put on display. Go ahead and open it if you want. I don't care. If you're looking for all my weird stuff, I usually keep it down in my dad's study. I share it with him. Uh, you guys share it? Didn't you say that your dad was a writer or something like that? Yep. I bet you probably get hooked on the light novels and dating sims your dad writes, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, my dad doesn't write that kind of stuff. Oh, really? Yep. Huh, I didn't expect that. Well, I mean, since he's a fan of stuff like that, wouldn't he want to write those kinds of stories? No, my dad's kind of like a lurker. He told me he didn't want to write that stuff because he felt that since his real life was kind of like one of those nurturing sims, he didn't want to write about it and live it, too. Uh, ever since I got here, it's been weird. Yep, that's the Izumis. So get this, the other day my dad was being all clingy and stuff. Yeah? So I'm all, you're acting like an ass, just to see what he'd do. <laughs> How can you talk to your dad like that? Yeah, well, after I said it, dad suggested I say, I hate you, dad, or something. Yeah, I'm not sure about that either. Mm. That's the point. I don't think you appreciate the complexity of my dad's way of thinking, Kagami. Whatever, you totally lost me. <sighs> How about we take a little break? It's here! Have you noticed lately how there's been a lot of Tuchan speak on TV? What's up with that? Oh, there has? I wouldn't know about that stuff. Uh, that's right. I just realized you're this hardcore otaku, but I've never heard you talk like that. I don't normally. But if I'm online, I talk like this. Uh, whoa. Is that really Japanese? I think I'd failed if anybody could read it. Sure, do you want to serve the salad for me? Mm-hmm. Mm. Thank, Thank you, you for, for the, the food! food. Mm. Yummy! Yeah, you're right. This stuff tastes amazing. Whipping up stuff like this isn't a big deal if you do your chores. If you helped out in the kitchen more, Kagami, you'd cook like this too. I don't need your advice. <laughs> Konata, look! Huh? This is perfect! Hmm? I always dreamed something like this would happen and it has! Huh? Oh, yeah. <gasps> so this is what's known as the three high school girls having dinner with a guy scenario. And if you ask me, even for dating sims, it's freakishly overused. That's... well... Doesn't it feel like evenings are getting colder? Maybe I should have brought a jacket with me. Look! A shooting star! Huh? Darn. Tried, but I couldn't make my wish three times. When they come out of nowhere like that, it's kind of hard. But someday I'll do it. I'll wish fast enough and then it'll grant me a wish. You'll always be a dreamer, Tsukasa. Too bad stuff like that's impossible when you stop to think about it. <laughs> Whoever came up with it knew no one could say their wish fast enough for it to work. This one has absolutely no dreams whatsoever. Are either of you guys thirsty? Whoa! Thank you! You switched hairdos. Yeah! What do you think? We did it for fun after we took our bath. Hmm, isn't it funny how the vibe you get from something on one person is different when it's on someone else? Oh, a photo album. Can I look at it? Sure, go ahead. Wow, you're so cute, Kona-chan. You haven't changed at all. How old are you supposed to be in this? It's a cool shot. I guess you and your dad are pretty close, huh? Hmm? Oh, no, that's my mom. She's a kid. I mean, so young. Don't we look alike? Yeah, like jailbait. Every time I look at dad, I just can't help thinking. What? What part of my dad did my mom find so attractive that she'd want to marry him? It's crazy how much you and your mom look alike, though. Do you like the same type of guy as your mom? What is your type, anyway? What's my type? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think I have one. Oh, come on! You can tell me. Wait. Mom said that her and Dad were childhood friends first. I don't think my mom was very picky about the guy she liked. Maybe that's a little harsh. I bet she picked him because she felt sorry for him. Even with your parents, you're brutal. You know, looking at this picture of mom's got me thinking. Mm -hmm. These days you got characters in manga and games, like junior high kids who seem really mature, but the adults all act immature. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, so? You waiting for me to whip out a snide remark or something? It's too bad Yuki-chan couldn't come over tonight. 
Yeah, she had stuff to do, though. I know. I'll text Yuki-chan that way she won't feel left out. Maybe you shouldn't bug her. Miyuki's probably busy doing something. That was quick. Glad to hear you're all having fun. Right now, I'm working hard and doing my best to finish my homework for the weekend. If you do it again, I'll make sure to... I totally forgot we had homework to do! Don't just sit there, Kagami! Do something! I didn't something. have any homework. Can I go to sleep now? No, wait! Oh, remember the shooting star? Yeah. Maybe if I make shorter wishes, I can get them to come true. I don't know about that. What you doing over there? I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to say my wishes faster. Stop running away from reality. Hurry up and finish it. Hey, Yuki-chan. I didn't really understand this part today. Can you show me how it's done? <sighs> sure, I'd be glad to. Kona-chan comes from Konata. Yuki-chan comes from Miyuki. Hmm. Hey, Tsukasa, what kind of nickname would you give Kagami? Kaga-chan? Gami-chan? Uh, hmm. Kyo-chan might be good. Kyo's another way to say Kagami. Oh, that's a good call. It's perfect because it reflects her tough-as-nails personality. It could also work with this Kyo-chan. But that's not mm -hmm, what I meant mm -hmm. when I said it. I think it's best we don't mention this to sis, you know? How about if you gave yourself a nickname? What would it be? Tsuka-chan? Kasa-chan? How about he chan It's hard to make a nickname out of my first name. That's perfect, because I can picture you as the type who'd run around shrieking hee-hee all the time. That's not exactly what I meant either. Right. From this day forward, Tsukasa, I'm calling you he chan Huh? What? What's wrong? What do you mean, huh? <laughs> it's just that it's kind of weird, you know? Picking your own nickname and all. Then how about that? That? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Don't you want revenge, Sebastian? Sure, she. Hey, Kyo-chan! Kyo-chan! What the heck are you saying? Are you calling me? It's totally confusing, so stop it. Okay, then what do you want me to call you? Isn't Kagami good enough? Well, don't you want to have a nickname, too? You know, like Kona-chan and Yuki-chan? Hmm. How about Kagami-sama? Uh... Sama. Ah, oh no, she's using it. Yeah, what? I was just calling you. Hmm? Sorry for the wait, Kagami-sama. Oh, what's wrong, Kagami-sama? I'm sorry, it's my fault. Just please call me by my name. Lucky Star. Lucky Channel. Hi, Luckies. Wow, isn't this great? Can you guys believe that? Hello! I'm her assistant, Minoru Shiraishi. How about we get down to business by introducing the fourth character? It's Kagami Hiragi! In the show, she's the one who plays the rational character and keeps things on track. So basically, she's a tsundere type, yeah. Right, I got it. Tsundere. Talk about a shallow character. On the contrary. Huh? Let's not jump to conclusions by categorizing Kagami-san as a mere tsundere. <laughs> what is she then? Before we get into that, we must ask ourselves, do we truly grasp the concept of tsundere? See, in this day and age, it's a sad fact that as the term tsundere becomes a part of the mainstream, its true meaning gets lost in the process. First, we must trace its origins. The term tsundere dates back to the year 2002, where it was first used on the internet. It meant a hostile person who becomes affectionate. In other words, it was supposed to describe how a character's personality changed over time. Yeah, whatever. These days, however, tsundere is used to describe a character's dual nature. For example, a girl who's cold on the outside but loving on the inside would fit the current definition of the term. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I declare that this is all a huge mistake. We must give the people back the true definition of tsundere. Sound the warning bells. Rise up and be counted, you illiterate masses. Arise! You were going pretty good there, Sebastian. Who's that? So if Kagami isn't a tsundere, what is she? Who's Sebastian? I don't get why you're making it harder than it needs to be, you know? But since you brought it up, Chief, you got another word we can use besides tsundere that gets the same point across? What? Oh, uh, I'm sure there's something out there that would work. Maybe kuldere? No, that's not it. Deretsun? You really are an idiot. Did you know that? Isn't tsundere good enough? No, it isn't. That's what I've been saying. Oh! How about we have our viewers think of a new term that could replace tsundere? Now that's what I call a good idea. Coward. 
Listen up, this goes out to everyone watching right now. I want you to come up with a new term that would describe a character like Kagami. And together we'll rewrite the common facts of modern day speech. We'll call it the Great Sundara Debate. For more info, please check out our radio show or log on to our site. We're counting on your ideas. Huh? So, are we done now? About friggin' time. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Finey! Finey! Fast forward! Wow! I talked up a storm today! That was the best show ever! Uh... Akira-sama? What's wrong? Happy now? Oh, yeah! I mean, I got a lot of lines today, and I think I did a good job! <sighs> so, I'm gonna have dinner with one of the producers and the president of the production company. Huh? Oh, uh... Yeah, we're gonna be talking about your future with the show. Uh, hold on a second. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? <sighs> I don't know if telling you's gonna help. I mean, if I have to tell you, you already don't get it. Whoa! You still got that part-time gig at Kokichi, don't you? Yeah? Yeah, like during the day I do, but it's not like I'm getting rich working there. And the I... Korean barbecue? Uh, well, yeah, I work there too, but... Wait, no, that doesn't matter. Just stop it. That's all private stuff. <laughs> Here I go. What do you think about this song, Tsukasa? Maybe. What do you think, Yuki-chan? Yes, I know it. Then how about you guys sing it next? Thanks for finding it. Yes, thank you. At last. Did you guys decide on the song? Yeah. Hey, wasn't this song popular back when we were in kindergarten? No idea. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know either. I totally remember it. Our sisters used to sing it a lot. It's said that songs sung by our parents or older siblings, even though they're from a generation before us, are the ones we remember the most. Episode of Lucky Star? Kagami here. Say you're out with a friend and you're getting something to eat, and everything's going great until they bring out the soup. There's always a little bit that splashes up, right? Well, doesn't it suck when a drop gets on your clothes? And if it's curry sauce, it sucks even worse. Doesn't it seem like it always happens when you're wearing your favorite outfit, and then it's like you're totally bummed for the rest of the day, you know? It's like when you buy a bento box with soup at the store. You make sure to walk home all steady and careful, keeping that bag level so nothing spills out, right? Yeah, but then you get home and you open the bag and the soup spilled out and everything's soaked and you're like, I am so not hungry anymore. And you know how nice it is when they're bagging your stuff and they bother to separate the cold things from the hot? And then they screw it all up by putting the magazines you bought in the same damn bag as all your cold drinks and then the paper soaks up all the condensation. And now you've got these warped and soggy magazines and you're thinking, why the hell did they separate anything in the first place, you know? <sighs> Next episode, various ways to spend Christmas Eve. Look forward to it!